The California Consumer Privacy Act, CCPA, has been viewed by most as the most prominent piece of privacy regulation implemented in the U.S. to date. It has extrajudicial implementation, much like New York State's SHIELD Act and the EU's General Data Protection Regulation, beforehand, so even if you don't have an operation in California, it may still apply to your business. This is information your business needs, so keep watching to learn. CCPA Overview the law went into effect on January 1st, 2020. However, companies really needed to have their data tracking systems in place by the start of 2019, since it gives consumers the right to request all the data a company has collected on them over the previous 12 months. The California Attorney General will not implement CCPA regulations until October 2020 and will not start enforcement until July 2020. That's a very tight time frame. CCPA and you. The law applies specifically to residents of California. If your business collects personal data on Californians, they will have to comply if they earn $25 million in revenue per year, buy or sell the data of 50,000 households, or earn 50% of their revenue from in-California business. However, specific exemptions apply, including for healthcare providers and others. CCPA includes a one-year exemption for HR data and business-to-business -business customer representative personnel data until January 1, 2021. It is very important to note that this exemption has not yet been extended. Data covered. The California law takes a much broader approach to what constitutes sensitive or private data than the GDPR. It includes all of the regular personal identifiers, such as a real name, address, IP address, email address, social security number, license number, but also commercial information like products purchased, web browsing history inferences, or buying tendencies, and it also includes biometric geolocation and audio data, and all inferences drawn from any of the previous info. CCPA Privacy Policy Businesses must advise California consumers of their rights, such as the right of access or deletion, but not correction like the GDPR, sources of the data collected, who PI data was shared with, who PI data was sold to, what categories of PI disclosed for business, opt-out choice, and not to be discriminated upon based on opt-out choice. Must offer appropriate consumer compliant process. Policy must be updated annually and policy must be prominently linked to the website footer. CCPA enforcement. No maximum amount per violation. Consumer notifies the AG. Notice to business, 30 day cure. If not cured, statutory fines of $2,500 or $750 if intentional. Consumer must provide notice plus 30 day cure period. Fines $100 to $750. Limited private right of action for non-encrypted transmissions. Unreasonable security practice. So now that you have a better understanding of the new California Consumer Privacy Act, what should you do? It's a lot to undertake, but we're here to help. This will not neatly fall under your GDPR preparations, and it appears to be a model for other state privacy regulations, with new privacy laws under consideration in 17 other states at this time. There are a number of different activities you need to perform to become compliant. Get in touch today and let us help protect your business.